You just can't stand still, can you? What's it to you, Lane? I don't even know why you're here. You're doubting my qualifications? That's pretty ironic. What's that supposed to mean? You're disgusting, Lane. Now shut up. I'm thinking. One of us has to figure this out. Here's what we know. Theo and Logan both end up dead, with guilty signs at the crime scene. Cause of death unknown. Maybe being represented by a pig instead of a lawyer has something to do with it. What are you implying, Parker? The only other connection between them is the fact that you represented them both. That's a ridiculous argument, and you know it. Completely circumstantial. Anyway, enough banter. Let's get this over with. We need to know why these killings are happening. We need a motive that connects them. Maybe a vigilante of some sort? Otherwise, why leave these signs? The guilty signs do make these killings feel personal. Theo Madsen and Logan McDermott probably had plenty of enemies. Why do you say that? Because they were criminals. You're awfully quick to point fingers, Parker. That's not good detective work, you know. If you tell me how to do my job one more time, I swear... I'll be the next one holding the guilty sign. That's not funny, Lane. Just evening the score. We can't crack this case without more information. What do you suggest? It's a pharmacy. There must be some security cameras around here. There are cameras everywhere these days. There. That camera's pointing right where Madsen's body was found. Looks like a good place to start. Got the footage. As long as that camera was running, we should be able to see exactly what happened. Finally, some answers. I'm tired of playing detective. Playing detective? Is this a game to you? Relax, Parker. Everything's a game to me. If we're lucky, maybe we'll be able to find out more about the sunshine pills, too. Why do you always assume the worst of everybody? The guy's dead, and you're still trying to throw him in jail. Well, why do you defend people who are clearly criminals? Let's just look at the tape and get this over with. This is amazingly boring. It's even worse than law school. Can't we just skip through? We're not watching this for fun, Lane. I can't imagine you doing anything for fun. Sounds like you could use a bit more imagination then. I'm sure Madsen has some prescription pills for that. Let's see. You're not as funny as you think you are, Lane. We have serious work to do. Now stop distracting me. I need to focus. There. Pause it. Oh, right. Got it. Look at that. He walks out of the frame empty-handed and back in with a package in his hands. But there's no one else there. You're right. It's just Madsen. Is he choking? Maybe. Or perhaps he's having a heart attack or a stroke? Could be poison. That's a scary thought. We'll have to wait for Stella to do an autopsy. Maybe she'll find some trace chemicals. She's the pretty one, right? You're such a pig. I'll take that as a yes. Let's keep looking around. There must be something else. So far, I think that package is our best lead. I agree. We can use the barcode to find out who delivered it. Good idea. Maybe we can figure out the sender, too. Still, it feels like a pretty weak lead. Madsen was hiding something. I'm sure of it. Maybe, maybe not. You'll have to prove it. 
We'll have to prove it, Lane. You're on our payroll at the moment, you know. I'm here to find out the truth, not who to blame. Lane, over here. Oh my. Look at all this money. Well, that's what vaults are for. Storing valuables, right? But where did Madsen get all this cash? The same way as most people, probably. Making more money than he spends. And storing it all in cash? Seems fishy. Why not use a bank? He said he didn't trust banks. I don't blame him, to be honest. Are you seriously telling me this isn't weird to you? Not at all. Having a vault is perfectly legal, and banks have been pretty irresponsible lately. Well, I think that's paranoia. There's something more to all of this. Hey, Parker. Check this out. What did you find? It's this scale. It's off balance. Yeah? So what? I guess it's just an instinct. Madsen was a perfectionist. A useful skill for a pharmacist. Exactly. I just don't think he'd use a broken scale. It's probably nothing. Let's keep looking. Lane, stop messing around with that stupid scale. And... Ha! Huh. I knew it! A trap door? Now that's suspicious. Looks like your boy was hiding something, Lane. Don't go turning this into a win for you. I found the trap door. Yeah, yeah, all right. Nice find, Lane. Thank you. And it does appear Madsen was hiding something. Right. Well, thanks. Let's just get on with it. I didn't figure you for a pill popper. I didn't figure you for a detective. So, what's the story? What are those pills for? Remember that time you minded your own business? Doesn't sound like me. When was that? Right now. Touchy, touchy. Fair enough. We all have our secrets. At least my secret doesn't require a trap door. You first, then. You'd better not lock me in here. Now there's an idea. Ugh, it smells disgusting in here. This is a seriously creepy room, Madsen. What were you doing in here? Look at all these tiny cages. For animals, most likely. Mice, maybe? Yeah, for testing drugs. Experimenting. It's a secret laboratory. I feel like I'm in a TV show or something. I won't argue with you on that. That's a first. Would it kill you to be nice for once? Look around you. These are the people you defend. That isn't fair. Everyone deserves... Don't you hide behind that. If you won Madsen's case, he'd be right back here. Torturing mice? and probably poisoning people with whatever chemical creations he's playing with in here. Oh yeah? And what about the innocent people you've thrown in a cage? A cage just like these? That's not the point. Enough. Let's keep this professional and just do our jobs. Fine. Professional. Let's see what Madsen's been hiding in here. There are tons of chemicals in here. Yeah, I don't even recognize half of this stuff. We need to figure out why he was doing all of this. What was his motivation? Building this secret lab couldn't have been easy. Or cheap. If he invested a good deal of money, he probably expected to make it back. As much as I hate being in here, I think we need to look around some more. Finally, 
proof of Madison's involvement with the sunshine pills. I told you he was involved. Looks like you were right. We should test these at the lab, just to be safe. So the guilty signs, at least in this case, seem to be right. That vigilante theory might be closer to the mark than we thought. Maybe. Usually in drug-related cases, the competition tries to take each other out. You think there are multiple suppliers for the sunshine pills? I think we can't rule it out. Lane, come over here for a second. See if you can lift this barrel. Why? What's in it? Some chemicals. Probably an ingredient for the drug. Nope. Too heavy. And you're a pretty broad-shouldered, strong guy. Stronger than Madsen. Miss Parker, are you flirting with me? Ugh, please. Cute little lady like yourself? I'm not complaining. One more word, Lane, and I'll break your arm. Yeah, right. Like you could. What with my broad shoulders and all. Okay, okay. I yield. There will be respect between us, Lane. Do you understand me? Respect goes two ways, Parker. Damn. I ripped my suit. You're such a girl. If you couldn't lift the barrel alone, neither could Madsen. That means he had help. I'm going to try to hack into his laptop. If he had help, maybe we can find his contacts on here. Good idea, but be careful. Careful? It's just a laptop. What could go wrong? Just be careful, Lane. Madsen was clearly paranoid. Let's try this. Or maybe this? That's not a good idea, Lane. Nope. Third time's the charm. <laughs> that was hilarious and very stupid. Holy crap. That was, that was insane. But I'm fine, I think. Now that I know you're fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, I enjoyed that. Maybe a little too much. Wish I'd filmed it now. I'd watch it over and over. Right, well, at least somebody enjoyed it. I'll keep looking around while you tame that wild hair of yours. This lab is stock full of ingredients and formula. I think Madsen was more than just a dealer. Vertically integrated? Speak English, Lane. Right, well, it means that he invents it, makes it, and sells it. Exactly. This is a big find. Maybe the key to stopping this sunshine drug for good. Don't forget. We're here to investigate a murder. I didn't forget. Let's collect everything up. There might be another clue around here somewhere. So, here's what we know so far. Madsen's been cooking up this drug in his basement. Maybe for years. He was also killed. Probably murdered. He went the same way as Logan McDermott. Exactly. Both bodies were found with the guilty sign. And both people recently received an anonymous package. Right. So let's drop off the evidence at the station. Then chase down the delivery man or woman and ask them some questions. And most importantly, Let's get the heck out of this creepy basement. Madsen may have been guilty, but he deserved a good defense. But how could you defend someone like that? 
It's my job, Parker. Everyone has the right to an attorney. I forgot about Justin Hall. I'm still pissed Vasquez took me off that case. Did you say Justin Hall? Why? Do you know him? No, just curious. Shall we bring in that delivery man? Good idea. Stella can process the evidence while we're out. Let's go. I'm Detective Parker. May I ask you a few questions? Of course, Detective. I'm Victor Lane, an attorney. Thanks for coming in and helping us out. Sure, no problem. What can I do for you? You delivered two packages we're interested in. One was to Logan McDermott and the other for Theo Madsen. I did. Both packages were exactly the same size and weight. I assumed they came from the same place. Was there a return address? No, there wasn't, which was odd. Were there any other similar packages? Yeah, there was one more, actually, sent to this address. I think that's Logan's home address. But he already received his package at the gym. His sister. He mentioned he lives with his sister. We have to go. Right now. Let's go.